green finance is the new and evolving area of finance which focuses on renewable energy and financial issues related to climate change initiatives such as dealing in carbon credits. Uh, it's government policy to uh, facilitate uh, Ireland being a, a preferred location for green finance uh, and one can see historically that the government have been quite good at facilitating uh, initiatives especially in the international financial space. Uh, over 50 years ago you had the incentives given to operations based out of Shannon which directly led to the creation of what is now the international air financing industry of which Ireland is still a major player. Uh, in the mid 80s uh, the government decided to create an onshore uh, international financial services centre, the IFSC, which turned out to be a major success. Uh, subsequently we saw that uh, giving rise to the funds industry and Ireland is now a major player in the onshore uh, management and issuance of uh, investment funds. Um, so Ireland has a track record of becoming involved in new financial areas which require innovation and government assistance. Um, the historic position has also meant that our existing tax and commercial structures uh, will facilitate green, I, I, green uh, finance uh, initiatives. The Irish experience in the international financial area has meant that there is uh, a wide body of people who are quite experienced in this area and in addition the service providers are very experienced with dealing with international financial matters. Uh, this area is going to evolve and the government commitment to making sure that Ireland uh, is going to be a place of choice for green finance will mean that as green finance initiatives come about, uh, the required steps will be taken to ensure that Ireland can be a global centre for green finance to be carried out from. Green finance has a domestic element to it as well as an international element to it. Uh, in the context of international finance, the international element will uh, play a major part. The current fund regime we have in Ireland, which is a gross-up regime, uh, can already accommodate uh, green finance projects. Uh, the, the regime it doesn't apply any tax where payments are made to non-residents and the funds themselves uh, pay no tax on any profits they generate. Uh, so the existing fund regime uh, will accommodate green finance. In addition we have a securitization regime uh, which uh, can facilitate uh, the financing of particular projects. Uh, it can also accommodate green finance uh, projects and some recent changes to the legislation have uh, enabled secu Irish securitization vehicles uh, to uh, acquire carbon credits and other, uh, other rights associated with some of the climate change initiatives. Ireland uh, is a small open economy. We have a, a very good selection of double taxation treaties uh, and as a general comment the withholding tax regimes that apply in Ireland uh, do not tend to cause a difficulty because of the wide range of exemptions that are available where payments are made to residents and treaty countries. Um, thus the existing offering in Ireland uh, is well placed to facilitate green finance initiatives. A number of our existing tax provisions already support the green finance space. Uh, trading activities involving uh, green finance initiatives will qualify for the 12.5% tax rate. There are also some particular tax incentives focused on uh, renewable energy um, and in addition uh, renewable energy proje projects qualify for the new employment I incentive scheme. Um, there are particular capital allowances available for one's dealing with renewable energy. Um, and again, given the government's commitment to the renewable energy space, uh, it, one has an expectation that it, there will continue to be incentives available uh, in, uh, in the domestic space in that area. Government have uh, a policy of facilitating the establishment of green finance initiatives out of Ireland. Uh, and at present, the main focus is on the implementation of that policy. Uh, there are bodies established to liaise with government to identify areas of difficulty and to see about getting them addressed. We've already seen uh, new amendments being introduced to particular tax provisions to facilitate uh, particular green uh, finance initiatives. Um, so going forward at present one wouldn't say there are particular policy matters that have to be addressed. Uh, there is a clear commitment that as and when new policy areas are identified that steps will be taken to facilitate them. In particular the government are currently uh, working to try bring about 
uh, an integrated uh, carbon uh, credit exchange. And clearly, as and when that comes to pass, one would expect that uh, policy decisions would be taken to make sure that Ireland can become a global centre for such an exchange. Thank you.